Hello and welcome to this quick presentation on diagnosing resonance. My name is Jason Tranter, the founder and managing director of Mobius Institute. Mobius Institute provides vibration training and accredited certification. Resonance is the excitation of a natural frequency. Resonance amplifies vibration that may be due to unbalance or pump vein vibration or due to bearing vibration. Any source of vibration can be amplified and therefore resonance can mislead the vibration analyst simply because peaks will be artificially high and the question is is resonance causing the peak to be high or is there some fault condition causing the peak to be high so for example if we look at these spectra not that the amplitude is very high but we have quite high peaks and particularly well relatively speaking high at 3x in this case um, now but if you look closely it's quite evident that there is a region of the spectrum that is elevated. In this case just the noise in this area is causing the vibration to be amplified and that's one of the keys to diagnosing resonance. In fact two ways you can diagnose resonance. Number one just through the simple spectra is looking at the peaks particularly at the base and seeing if they appear to be broad. Nice sharp peaks typically suggests that there is no resonance. If the peak is broader then it would indicate that resonance is a possibility. But if you see a hump as we saw here then that's a real telltale sign and best if you switch to logarithmic. Now this is different data but we see these big humps in the logarithmic amplitude scale. So it's amplitude not frequency but in logarithmic scale we get to see this much more clearly and you can see where I've marked where these two humps exist. Um, it's important to understand that resonance is the excitation of a natural frequency but it's within 15 to 20 percent of that natural frequency where there's amplification. Greater amplification right at the natural frequency but any vibration within that 15 or 20 percent will be amplified and that's why we see a whole region amplified. Now there are lots of different types of tests that can be used to diagnose resonance. Here we can see that this whole uh, vertical pump is swaying back and forward um, due to resonance. Now there are different types of tests that would indicate if resonance exists. A real simple one is a bump test, slightly more sophisticated impact test. Then we can go to a run up and run down test or run up and, and coast down test where the machine's own vibration will excite the natural frequencies and we can see the change in phase or we can perform an ODS test, an operating deflection shape test that gives us an indication of the mode shape and it an indication of resonance whereas modal analysis would prove resonance. So we're just going to have a quick look at the bump test. This is obviously a very detailed topic which would normally take a long time to explain. But we need to exaggerate the vibration a bit more in this animation but you can see that the vertical pump here is sort of swaying from side to side due to resonance. So if we take a closer look at what that might look like as it's operating it might sway from side to side more so in one axis. If we look at it in the different axis you can see it's rocking back and forward towards us. It's only if it's symmetrical that it would really rock in in both sort of well towards us and away from us. It might move in a sort of a circular motion. Um, one of the keys with resonance is to be able to separate the motion and distinguish between unbalance and looseness. So with unbalance it might move in a more circular motion because that's the nature of the vibration. If there was a crack, exaggerated of course, but it tends to rock from side to side and the influence on changing speed uh, will differ. Again this is a detailed topic but if we were to perform a bump test or an impact test, we are striking the machine to see how it responds. Now in this simplified example, as it rocks back and forward, we see the cyclic motion as it dampens down. We can do that whether the machine is running or not. For an impact test it isn't running, for a bump test we have the choice. We're really trying to see how the vibration will change. 
In this case, let's say this is our vibration spectrum, the machine is running, we do an impact test, and what we might notice is that at two, one, two, or three frequencies or more, we'll see an increase in amplitude in this sort of hump sort of shape um, where we've excited the resonance and everywhere within that uh, 15 to 20 percent that I mentioned before we'll see amplification, the greatest amplification at the natural frequency. Now the hump might actually be just to the side of the running speed or just to this side. It may not be the running speed that's exciting the, the uh, natural frequency and therefore causing resonance. So we want to find out just what's going on so that we can actually correct the problem as well. So resonance is the excitation of a natural frequency and that increase in vibration could cause bearings to fail, the structure to fail, could cause problems with um, product quality or noise and, and other problems. Resonance will cause all of the vibration within approximately 15 to 20 percent of the natural frequency to be amplified and that's why we can use the log format and see that, that hump in the spectrum. If we bump the machine we excite the natural frequency, it's kind of like ringing a bell or a tuning fork or something like that. But we can also change the speed of the machine and as the, you know, the 1x peak sweeps through a series of a range of frequency it might excite the natural frequency. We can perform an operating deflection shape test to sort of visualize the vibration that we are measuring or perform a modal test to truly find out what's happening with each of the natural frequencies in fact uh, and then we can visualize that vibration in actual fact we'd be looking at the mode shape. So a very quick presentation on quite a complex topic but I hope it's helped to clear up a few points um, and if you have any questions please feel free to contact us.